Her appearances on Curb Your Enthusiasms as Susie Green have empowered women all over the Upper West Side <laughs> to tell their husbands to go f themselves. A comedian, an actress, an author, a wife, a quadruple stepmother, and soon to be Nobel Prize recipient, no doubt. Please welcome Susie Essman. So this book is very interesting because you have a lot of things in here that I don't think people know about you. And uh, we won't give it all away because we want them to buy the yes, book. Yes, many copies. But it's very well Hanukkah. written. Hanukkah. It's very well written. <laughs> it's a great Hanukkah gift. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, for instance, um, tell them about how you prayed for lesbianism to strike you. Well, as you know, <laughs> I went out with many assholes in my time. <laughs> and I mean, you lived through it with yes. me for 25 years. My grandmother used to, he, my grandfather, this is the beautiful marriage they had. My grandfather was a twin, and, and the twin died in infancy, and my grandmother used to say, the wrong twin died, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had one of those marriages. They were married yeah, at 18, yeah, yeah, yeah. arranged. A real love yeah, match. Yeah, exactly. And my grandmother, <laughs> my grandmother left school in the third grade to go work in her father's bakery, and she worked in a button factory her whole life. You know, right. she was... Yeah. Anyway, so my father was not an emotionally open person to his children at all. And the way that I connected to him was, by, was through watching the Giants. We used to watch football together. And that was, you know, it, it was a poignant kind of thing in a way. That was the way that I developed a relationship. That was our safe place because he was a very volatile person and we all had volatile relationships with mm -hmm. him. And my safe place with him was sports. Uh-huh. And that I developed a love of sports from that, which is, sports is the greatest filler and yes. distraction, especially if you're a, a baseball fan. 160 nights a year, you got something to do. That's it's true. Great. Like tonight. Like, like tonight, it's, exactly. it's a testament to your popularity that these people are not home watching the games. There are, are you two pissed of them. off about that, this guy right here? <laughs> now you're a Met fan. I could see it. I know. Okay, so your father was a little distant. And how about mother? He was more than a little distant. He was a narcissist. Uh, yeah, I think he had a narcissistic disorder. Yeah. yeah. My mother, um, you know, my mother came from a very uh, cultured background, from, from an artistic background. Yes. So, she, you know, she, and that was great because she took us to theater all the time and museums and, you know, that kind of stuff, which was, an, uh, I think, seeing, going to Broadway musicals was really important to me when I was a mm -hmm. kid, you know, because I would just sit there and watch and be like, that's what I want to do, except I couldn't sing or dance. So that didn't work out. <laughs> But I did, you know, that was my first, and they, they always had every cast album, and you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I just remember listening to the pajama game and My Fair Lady, and just like loving that whole world, and. They imitate me on Saturday Night Live. Fred Armisen, naturally it's a guy. <laughs> but I think it's very funny. I think that he really captured my twitchiness and my, so what, who cares? Which is basically my philosophy of life. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's another version of don't sweat the small stuff. You know, so what? Who cares? In fact, everyone in my office, my girl, one of the girls at the office has a two-year-old kid, and she's trained him to say, so what? Who cares? So what? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> and and, and now, now she's got him doing it in different ways. So now we go, so what? Who cares? <laughs> He's two. It's great. Okay, did you hear that up there? If she were president, what would she have said to Dick Cheney without dithering, which is Cheney's word? Go f yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what more is there to say I to Dick Cheney? End on that, sure. Shall we end on that? Thank you all very much. Thank you, Susie. She'll be signing books as she told you.